Jack Adams, we know, will serve life behind bars for the murder of Holly Bobo tonight in a News Channel 5 exclusive questions answered about the trial. How did Adams cut a deal to dodge the death penalty? And was he staring back at Holly's mother, Karen, when she spoke to him at sentencing? Adams' attorney tells all in a candid interview with News Channel 5's Nick Barris. I'm just still heartsick that we lost. Jennifer Thompson says her client, Zach Adams, is innocent. But a jury did not agree, convicting him in the kidnapping, rape, and murder of Holly Bobo. Thompson says the jurors left no doubt. As they're polling the jury to see, you know, is this your verdict, is this your verdict, the jurors were yelling out, yes, it's my verdict before the judge got to them. So they were enthusiastically claiming the verdict. At that moment, Thompson knew what would happen at sentencing. I thought the jury was going to come back with death. Thompson revealed there had actually been plea talks during the trial, but Adams refused to listen. But after the verdict, the prosecution offered a deal of life in prison, no parole. That was a deal he had to take. But with one catch, you know, Holly's know. mother, Karen, wanted to look Adams in the eye at sentencing. But I would like for Mr. Adams to look at me when I speak to him. I know that my daughter fought and fought hard for her life. When she said, look at me, he was looking at her and he sat there, you know, trying with a neutral expression on his face. Thompson says after sentencing, she approached Karen. Karen Bobo was standing there and I said, may I speak to you? And she said, yes. And I said, I just want you to know that what you've done today is an incredible gift that you've given my client. Karen Bobo had said the decision had nothing to do with Adams, but more to do with the future of her family. Still, whatever the reason, Thompson knows the sentencing plea spared her client's life. And I can't thank them enough for taking death off the table. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. The other defendants in the case, Jason Autry and Dylan Adams, they're still awaiting trial. We'll learn more about their cases at a status hearing in November.